Welcome to Farmhouse Italian Cooking. I'm Chef Tony, and I'm gonna show you how to do shrimp with squash. I've never put these two together before, so you're gonna see it for the first time, and I'm also gonna taste it and see if it's any good. So hang in there, and we're gonna get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with some bacon, and uh, just because it's bacon, I'm gonna render it, get that bacon fat to come on down and give me some some bacon juice there so I can get a little smoky flavor out of it is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to render this bacon a little bit. Give it a chance. Somewhere on, I'd say, medium low you want to do this. So you don't really want to burn them up. You want to get them to give up the fat so we can start cooking with the fat and the bacon. It's going to be a nice smoky flavor. All right, the bacon's rendered. I got the fat out of it, the smoky flavor. I'm going in with shallots because I think shallots will give it a good flavor. And I have a hot chili. Um, not going to touch it with my hands because I have a bad habit of touching myself on a face or something like that. All right, I have the chili in there, the shallots with the bacon. And what I'm going to do is put a little salt in here. The salt is going to bring out the moisture in the shallots and the pepper, which is really a chili, but we call it a pepper, okay? So I'm just going to cook these a little bit so they just turn translucent, okay? I don't want to go too far with them because that's not what I'm looking to get out of them, okay? All right, next it's going to be the shrimp. And like I said, I'm just making this up. So I don't really... I'm just going with techniques. Because it's not really a recipe, right? Now whenever I do shrimp in the saute pan, I like to do brandy. So... Ah, uh, we'll put it all in there, why not? Okay. Okay, now that I got the brandy in there, I'm going to let it cook off the alcohol a little bit so you don't taste the alcohol and give it a bitter taste. And you can smell it as the alcohol is coming out of it. Now, you can light up your brandy if you want, but simmering it, We'll take the alcohol out of it. Not 100% of it, but enough that you won't taste it, okay? Now the shrimp cooks really fast. So what I'm gonna have to do is get my butter and my garlic in here pretty quick before I overcook my shrimp. Okay. So we got garlic. Got my butter here, it's melting, but it's good. So it's garlic and butter. And I promised you squash, okay? And I do have the squash. Just want to let the butter melt and that garlic to start sweating a little bit, okay? Once it gets to that point, I'm going to come in with the squash. It does smell good. So we're going to see how good it is once we put the squash in there. All right. What I did was I took acorn squash and I roasted it in the oven and I pureed it. So I got something like this. And I'm just going to add it in the sauce. Like I said, I haven't made this recipe before. It's just something I made up. So I don't have any quantities here or anything. What I need to do is get my pasta in the water. Because it's going to go fast. And something else that I did was I made a corp bouillon out of the shells of the shrimp. This gives it a, a lot more shrimp flavor, all right? So all I basically did was just simmer the shells 
with some fresh herbs of my choice and garlic and white wine and water and made this cork bouillon that I can use. That's why every time you do shrimp, you want to get shrimp that are raw. You don't want to buy cooked shrimp. Okay, that is together, and I don't want to cook my shrimp anymore. Just put my pasta in there. I'm going to take it off the heat. Taking it off the heat because my shrimp are done. But it will be done once the heat cooks them through. You want to stop a little bit before your shrimp are done so they don't end up like rubber, okay? It smells good. I think it'll be all right. I'm going to adjust the seasoning a little bit. I'd like to have a little bit of black pepper in there. I know I have red pepper in there, but the black pepper hits a different spot on your tongue. Every color pepper will hit a different spot on your tongue. Red, black, white. It gives you the full mouthfeel, what they call unami, right? And now it's all done. Came out like that. I didn't put a whole ton of squash in there, but I did put some for that roasted flavor. Okay. Did you get it? Perfect. All right, okay. All right, want to make sure you saw that. Okay, next we're gonna plate it up and I'm gonna try it. Okay. All right, I got it plated up. The most that I did after I plated it, put some uh, fresh parsley, Italian parsley on top, because I like that, you know? Okay, let's see how it, hmm. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Oh, that turned out good. Well, this is something for you to try. You just do whatever with the ingredients, however you like it. Hotter, not hot, smokier, more bacon. And I wanted to tell you that I'm coming to you from Photon Automations Commercial Kitchen. Uh, Photon Automation makes machines that manufacture products like cars and stuff like that. And uh, this is their kitchen for their event center. So the owners, uh, Rick and Bill, told me that I'm allowed to film in this commercial kitchen. So I'm gonna keep filming in this commercial kitchen and see how you guys like it. Um, any comments? Uh, subscribe, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.